Shimi the Cat Looking for Love by Tako Susugi Sometime, somewhere, there was a black cat. He didn't have a name. There was no one that would love him. This cat was a stray cat. He was always thinking to himself, Why does everyone else have someone to love, but I'm just by myself? I want to be loved too. Suddenly, a witch arrived and said this. It seems that you need some help. Just go through this door. I bet you'll be able to find what you want. The cat opened the heavy door and walked in. On the other side, it was beautiful. It looked like everything was made of soft, fluffy cotton candy. I wonder if I'll be able to find love here. The cat started to walk. There was a pleasant breeze. Hello, I am Spring Breeze. What brings you here? I'm looking for love. Do you know what love is? I do know. When my season, spring, comes, everyone becomes lighthearted and smiles. That is the reason I come back every year. Then, Spring Breeze passed through the cat as if she was petting him. There was one flower that was singing a beautiful song. Hello, Miss Flower. I'm looking for love. Do you know what it is? I do, actually. At this moment, you listened to my song and you cried. That's the feeling of love. This is the reason why I sing. As the cat continued forward, he met with a large apple tree. He realized that he had not eaten for a long time. Hello, Miss Apple Tree. I'm a bit hungry. Would it be okay if I can have some of your apples? Of course you can. Please, eat as much as you like. The cat asked the apple tree a question. Do you know what love is? I think for me, love is when everyone eats my apples. Seeing everyone happily eating my apples gives me the greatest happiness. That's why every year I make sure that they are ripe. The cat walked further. On the way, a cloud silently appeared and came right over the cat. It aimed its rain and wind at him. It was a downpour, and the wind blew harder and harder. He was chilled to the bone and was exhausted. He couldn't take one more step. I can't. The cat finally collapsed. How long did he sleep? When he opened his eyes, he was being carried by a woman. She gazed at the cat. Hey, Chimi. You finally woke up. I was a little worried about you. I'm so glad. It was very warm inside of her arms. For a long time, he always somehow knew that his name was Chimi. Is this what love is? Chimi thought to himself. Then, one day, a bird stopped by at the windowsill. The bird spoke. On the other side of the village, I saw another stray cat. He was shivering and looked sad. Then, Chimi thought about his memory of when he was lonely. Right now, he lives in a nice house, and he has someone who loves him. But Chimi quietly said his goodbyes to the woman and left the house to look for the stray cat. On the other side of the village was a wide field. Hey, where are you? He called out for the little cat. If he doesn't hurry, night will come swiftly. He searched and searched and finally found the little cat. The cat was inside the thicket, shivering. I'm glad that I found you, Chimi said. 
The little cat looked up to Jimmy and laughed. Somewhere, the witch was whispering, Did you find what you were looking for? Jimmy gave a little nod and tightly hugged the little cat. 